Hello! In this video, we will learn how to mirror the skin and skeleton of a character. The mirroring process works on both weights and skeleton by default. If you want to save time, the fastest workflow on Akitsu is to build and work on one side of a symmetrical character and then you mirror over your completed half skeleton and your completed half skin at the end. Because mirroring joints works in a selective manner, which is different than mirroring weights, only the selected joints will be mirrored. For example, if I am here in build pose or in bind pose and I want to mirror only the arm, then I select all of the arm joints and click on this button here to mirror everything over. You can see that the icon only has the little bone and not the little mesh icon. You can also mirror by clicking on the H in your keyboard. And if I wanted to mirror over one joint without the children, then I again click this or H and you can see that that joint and its parents are mirrored over. To mirror weights, again, it is different than mirroring joints. Mirroring weights works in a global manner. This means that even if you select a few joints to mirror, all the vertices on the character will be mirrored over. For example, if I select only my arm and mirror that, then you can see that only those joints are mirrored. I have no joints in my leg, but now all of the joints, sorry, all of the vertices of the character have been mirrored over. So both of my sides of the skinning are the same. The only skinning that is not the same is the leg because it doesn't have any joints to be mirrored to. So because mirroring weights and joints works differently, one works globally and the other is selective, we recommend the basic process of mirroring after you have completed your half rig. So even if your character is not 100% symmetrical, but they have uh, very similar sides and let's say one side just has more enlarged features, I would still recommend doing the mirroring first after you have finished one side and then you can fine-tune the differences after. This will save you a lot of time. So to mirror over a full character, you just select one side of your character and then you can mirror it over. When you are mirroring over your full skin, you do want to make sure that you have no vertices selected. And so now my character is completely uh, created, so now I can start animating. Of course, as I mentioned before, you can tweak your character some more if you want. So if I decided that I wanted to move some of my joints, then I can go back into bind pose and just to exaggerate a little bit, I can change my joints and reorient and then I select the joints that I have changed and I can click on this mirror button, mirror selected controls in my transform menu. Now you see that that has been mirrored over. And if I want to remirror only a specific part of my skin, then I have to select the joint of the skin that I want mirrored over and select the vertices of the destination skin. So for example, if I decided that I wanted this to be part of that joint, then I select this joint and I select 
this skin and now I mirror it over. Now you can see that that has been updated. And that is the mirroring process.